Olivia and welcome back to another Snowfia video and I know last time I said I would probably sit in front of my bed for my background but I just decorated this background and I'm kind of in love with it so let me know which one you guys prefer. So anyway today's video is very exciting as always because I am doing DIY Christmas presents that you can make for your friends, your family, your little cousins, the people you babysit. There are lots of gifts that I have for you guys. I want to give a big thank you to Personal Planner for sponsoring this video. They were so nice to send me this awesome planner and I actually designed it. It says 2017 and it's like a cool watercolor design and on, on the back it has more watercolors which I love. I think it's so cute for the new year. And you guys can design your own planner on Personal Planner. If you guys want to get a planner in time for Christmas, make sure to order it by December 6th and that way it'll get here in time. I think it'd be a great gift for your friends and family or just for yourself. I'm going to have a code in the description to get a discount on one of your own planners. So if you want to get one, make sure to use my code so that it's a little bit cheaper for you. Personal Planner is allowing me to give one of these planners away to you guys. Not the one I designed, but you guys get to design your very own planner for free. So to enter the giveaway, make sure to check the description for all the rules and they'll send you your own free planner, which is really awesome. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. So for our first DIY Christmas gift, we're going to be making some DIY hot cocoa spoons. So first just take some plastic spoons, I chose festive colors, and you're going to spoon some melted chocolate onto your spoons and then while they're still wet, you want to sprinkle on some crushed candy canes or sprinkles or really anything you prefer. I had a bunch of different sprinkles and toppings and I also put on some marshmallows. And you're just going to keep making your hot cocoa spoons until you have the amount that you want and until your chocolate is all gone. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and let your spoons harden in the fridge for 10 minutes or so. And in the meantime, we're going to be making the packaging for them. So just take a plastic bag and cut off the zipper part, I guess you could call it. And then you can place your spoons into the plastic baggie and there you have this perfect packaging. I also decided to jazz it up with some sparkly tinsel that I found in the Target dollar section. And I just tied off our packaging with that and I placed it into this adorable little polar bear mug with red M&Ms in it and that is it for your gift. I think this is the perfect gift to make for anyone, your parents, your boyfriend, anything like that. And the point of these are you mix the spoons into some hot milk or hot chocolate and it makes your hot chocolate taste even better and I think the mug adds a really nice touch so you guys should definitely try these out because they're so easy to make and super cheap too. This next DIY is probably the easiest in this entire video. So all you're going to do is take an envelope and then cut off the corner of it, if that makes any sense. And there you have like the shape of it. And next you're going to take as many washi tape colors as you want and start putting strips of the tape onto your little corner of the envelope. It's super easy and really self-explanatory. You can go crazy with whatever colors, whatever kinds of tape you want. And once you have all your tape on the little corner, you're just going to take some scissors and cut off all the excess. And that's all you have to do to make this really cool bookmark. I think this would be perfect for any book lover. It seriously takes like two minutes to make and I think the colors are really bright and they pop which is awesome and you just slide your little bookmark onto the corner of your book page and you have a really cute bookmark. Another perk to this gift is it costs almost nothing to make. This next gift would be perfect for any candy lover. So all you're going to do is start with a mason jar and you're just going to fill it up with any white candy. I chose to use white peppermint M&Ms. Obviously, I separated them from the red ones. But you could also use white chocolate pretzels or anything you can find. I actually ran out of M&Ms, so I had to fill the rest with marshmallows. But that was okay. And once you do that, you can just put the top on. And I decided to take a piece of scrap fabric that I had and I tied that around the jar so it looks like a little scarf. I thought it was 
is really cute and adds some spice to the gift. And next, I also just glued on some buttons, three buttons down the side of the jar so that it looks more like a snowman. Lastly, I just added on a little bow to the top of the jar, and that's it for your gift. Again, this is a super easy gift to make, and it's also really cheap. You basically just need candy and a little add-ons to the jar. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you guys should definitely make this for anyone who loves sweet treats and candy. Oh, I Christmas. I included this next gift for any kids that you want to give gifts to this year, maybe your little siblings or your cousins or people you babysit. First, you're just going to start out with an empty Altoids container. I thought this was a really cute way to incorporate a gift. So with that container, you're just going to take a piece of felt the color of your choice. I chose orange and I just traced the outline of the Altoids container so that I could cut it out and get the shape properly. And next, I just hot glue that into the bottom of the tin. And I just repeated the same step with some yellow felt for the top of the tin. To make a little pillow for our cat, you're just going to cut out a piece of scrap fabric, fold that in half, and glue all the sides except one because you want to leave a hole to put the stuffing in like I'm doing here. And once you put all the stuffing in, you can just take some more hot glue and glue down that side as well. And once you do that, you have a completed pillow for your little Altoid tin. To make our little cat, I used the same process that I did to make the little pillow. I just used some gray felt and cut out a cat shape instead. And I also decided to glue on some black felt stripes and also some black felt eyes and a little smile. And lastly, I decided to spice up the cat a bit and glue on a white felt belly. I'm saying felt so many times, but I just think this cat is adorable. And then you can just place it in the little tin. As you can see, I also cut out some felt fishies and I put on a little red bow to complete this gift. I think this is absolutely perfect for any kid. I know I would have loved playing with this when I was little and I just think it's such an easy way to make a little toy for a kid you want to give a gift to and it's super easy and cheap as well. Anybody can do it. Seriously, you should try it out. With the kids jingle belling. This next DIY is definitely one of my favorites. So all you're going to do is start out with a wooden frame. I found mine at Michael's for $3. And I decided to jazz it up a little by painting it gold, but you don't have to do this. You could really paint it whatever color you want, actually. And once the paint was dry, I took some string and hot glued it in a zigzag pattern, I guess you could say, down the frame. And you can just kind of watch what I'm doing here because it's kind of hard to explain. But I'm basically making a place to put the pictures. And next, I took some cute Christmas clothespins from Michaels as well and just put the pictures into the frame. I'm actually giving this to my uncle. I cannot wait to give it to him. I think it's such a cute gift and super easy to make just like all the other gifts and this one's definitely really meaningful and heartfelt and I'm sure whoever you give it to will love it because it just has a lot of memories in it so that was it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and also let me know if you guys are planning on giving any of these gifts to your friends and family and if you do make sure to DM me some pictures on Instagram of the things you make also in last week's video I asked you guys to send me pictures of your Christmas trees and here are a bunch on the screen I wish I could include all of them because you guys were awesome to send me some and they're all beautiful trees thank you guys again for sending them lastly on my vlog channel I am doing a Christmas series called Sophia's Christmas Countdown where I do a bunch of fun Christmas videos and I'm also doing the 12 days of vlogmas so if you want to go see some more Christmas videos from me it'll be linked down below make sure to go subscribe and watch my videos so I think that's all I have to say for this video thank you guys so much again for watching I love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video bye